Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lena. I'm an incoming medical student in the US who applied to medical schools in the 2020 to 2021 application cycle. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the works and activities section of the medical school application. Specifically, I'll be offering you an overview of what this section looks like, tips on how to approach this section, as well as a couple of examples from my personal medical school application to show you. If you're curious about all of the activities I have done prior to applying to medical school, please subscribe and check out an upcoming video that I will be uploading regarding all of the activities I have inputted onto my medical school application. So without further ado, let's begin. So when applying to medical schools, there is a works and activity section on the medical school application for the AMCAS system. If you're applying to DO schools or the medical schools in Texas, this section also applies to you, but the character limits will differ. This section allows you to input 15 experiences or activities that you have done prior to applying to medical schools. For each of these activities, you are allowed to input 700 character descriptions descriptions of these activities. Out of all of the entries, you get to choose three and designate them as the most meaningful experience. For the most meaningful experience, you get additional 1,350 characters to describe this experience. An example is shown over here. As you could see on this application, you will have to input what this experience type is, which you choose from 18 categories. What the experience name is, here listed is an entry from my medical school application and this experience is about me being a special education teacher who is the contact and the title of your contact the contacts information including email as well as phone number organization name and where the organization is located as well as the dates that you have committed to this experience and how many hours in total so the hours it just needs to be a good estimate it doesn't need to be exact. Again, if you designate this as the most meaningful experiences, you will get an additional space to provide a more descriptive narrative of this activity. And for the experience description, again, it is 700 character limit. As I mentioned, for the experience type, you get to choose from 18 categories as listed over here. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding anything that I've mentioned so far. Now I'm going to go over how to approach the works and activities section of your MCAS application. First of all, start brainstorming the activities in advance. It's definitely really hard to put all of your experiences in a 700 character space limit. So that's why it's good to start early and draft your activities and work section in advance. I truly had to do a lot of revision in this section as much as I did for the personal statement. Now you know what the categories of activities are on the medical school application and all of the other information you need to gather. You could get started on brainstorming what activities to input into this section of the medical school application. Once I knew what are the entries that I need to input, I created an Excel sheet to start brainstorming what I need to put on here and how I'm going to describe these experiences. So when the AMCAS application opens, I could directly copy and paste all of these sections from the Excel sheet to my application. It honestly took me quite a while to choose the 15 activities that are most representative and meaningful to me, that represent me as an individual as well as a future doctor. Advice here is really quality over quantity. You you really don't need to fill out all of the 15 entries. Choose the things that are either really meaningful to you or that has an impact in your journey to pursuing medicine. The medical schools could easily tell if you're just trying to fill up the space in this section of your application. So really carefully select all of the activities that you want to put here as medical school admissions committees are going to read over all of them. In fact, they see this section prior to seeing your personal statement. So really take it seriously. At first, it's so easy to have 
the tendency to copy and paste whatever is from your resume or CV directly into this section, but please do not do that. Instead, tell a story that shows what you have accomplished through this experience. What was your role and responsibilities, as well as what qualities do you demonstrate through this experience? And most importantly, what impact did you make or what lessons did you learn or what growth did you experience? This is what medical schools want to see in this section. It's sometimes, it's not about the activity itself, it's how you actually describe the activity that makes an impact on your admissions decision. And if you could have one last sentence that connects this activity to your future career in medicine, whether it's through a quality that you could demonstrate or a lesson that you learned from this experience. In the last part of this video, I will show you you a few examples from my medical school application. And lastly, ask people to read over the activities and work section and ask if it makes sense to them. Not only ask them to look at the grammar or look at the flow of your sentences, but also ask them if they got a general idea of what you're trying to show here, what kind of qualities or what kind of lessons that you are demonstrating here. For me personally, I asked first year medical students who I know who have went through this process and also some of my friends who I truly trust to read over my works and activities section. And now in this section, I'll show you a couple of examples from my medical school application. Again, this video is about how to approach this section and providing you with tips and examples. If you want to check out all of the activities that I have inputted into my medical school application, please check out this upcoming video that I will be uploading. So for the very first activity, experience type is teaching teaching for Teach for America. So the experience description, I am currently teaching at an under-resourced public school. So this is one sentence introduction. Providing direct instructions to high school students with special needs challenged me to be detail-oriented and creative in engaging students with unique learning styles and be adaptive to unforeseen situations with flexibility and composure. So right here, I'm trying to show all of the qualities that I have demonstrated through this experience. During the COVID-19 pandemic, I managed to get all of my students to engage in learning by fostering an interactive virtual environment and frequently communicating with their caregivers to address their learning needs. So right here, I am trying to show my qualities and resilience, adaptability, perseverance, and reaching out to the students and families, and also my dedication to education equity. And because this experience is more related to education, I want to try to connect it with medicine. So the last sentence is, Overcoming barriers to equity and building trusting relationships as an educator will carry on to my future career in medicine. So this experience is listed under the teaching, tutoring, and teaching assistant category. For the second example here is a research experience. I was working at the Brain Research Lab and the total hours is 1160. So the experience description. I started with a project investigating the effects of anoprenaglone on the recovery process after optic nerve crush. The findings were published at the Low Vision in the Brain 4th International Symposium, hoping to explore the regenerative properties of neurons more deeply, I developed and secured funding for an independent project. I was excited to present this project at the Emory Ophthalmology Department and the Emory Research and Symposiums. I composed and defended my honors thesis on the research and obtained high honors. Currently, I am editing the manuscript for publication in restorative neurology and neuroscience. This description on the research is more about my accomplishments. I didn't show much of my qualities 
because I designated this experience as one of my most meaningful experiences. So I chose to tell a story that shows the qualities and lessons I learned through research through the most meaningful experience area. Most meaningful experience remarks. Research was the most challenging yet rewarding experience of my time at Emory. The optic nerve initially interested me because of its elegant appearance yet complicated mechanisms and response to injury. The most exciting part came about when I started developing my independent project investigating optic nerve crush. I had to narrow down my numerous questions in the field to three testable and straightforward hypotheses. To find the most valid research method, I spent months assessing various visual behavioral tests and evaluating protein markers. Through countless trials and errors, I grew more mindful and conquered my fear of mice. While painstakingly eliminating noise in the electrophysiology data, I was thrilled to discover unexpected patterns in the mice's uninjured eyes. The ensuing process of presenting, defending, and publishing my research made me think more deeply about the significance of the results and challenged me with the perspectives of other researchers. The intellectually rigorous pursuit has taught me how to design experiments, critically evaluate methods and data, and present scientific information effectively. Most importantly, it nurtured my growth as an independent thinker with a resolute attitude. So this is my most meaningful description for the research experience. I try to use this space to show my qualities as dedication and resolution to research, my resilience when I'm facing these difficulties during research, as well as my critical analysis and analytical skills that I have developed through research. And the last example over here is from Physician Shadowing at the Emory Brain Health Center. This description again is more about what I did and what I learned and in the space for most meaningful experiences, I expanded on this description to show a deeper dive into my enthusiasm and engagement with the clinical reasoning process as well as showing my growth and my learnings about physician and patient relationship. Experience description. Working alongside Dr. S at the Emory Brain Health Center and applying myself to presenting the neurology cases, what another highlight of my undergrad career. I assisted patients with partial paralysis or loss of sensation in recorded patient history and findings while observing examinations and treatments. With Dr. S's support, I explored the medical case of one patient in depth every week and presented it in the format of a scientific meeting or a poster report to my peers and professors in a seminar class. Through active participation in patients' cases, I learned to build rapport with patients and examine information critically. And the most meaningful experience remarks. The Thursday morning shifts with Dr. S made me genuinely see myself as a future physician. I immersed myself in the process of gathering histories and observing assessments while jotting down questions. The explanations from Dr. S always stimulated my curiosity and guided my subsequent research in the pathophysiology, treatments, and clinical trials right after I returned to my dorm. I spent my weekends putting the information into presentations, anticipating the discussions with my peers and professor. This process of profoundly engaging with clinical cases of patients made me embrace medicine with great excitement and curiosity. Moreover, I was inspired by the physician-patient relationships between Dr. S and his patients. While using patient stories to inform his medical decisions, he always made sure that patients were being heard. Listening to the patient's complaints, Dr. S would always put a glow on the patient's face with his calm presence and humor 
humor. Through observing such rituals of healing, I realize that patients need someone attending to their sufferings just as much as they need medical treatments. Trust and vulnerability are gifts bestowed on physicians who return it in kind with answers and most importantly, reassurance. So this was my most meaningful remarks for this physician shadowing experiences. And there you have it. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments on the works and activity section that I have went through. I'll try my best to answer them all. Again, if you're interested in seeing all my activities that I have inputted on my medical school application, please check out this upcoming video on my channel. I hope this video is helpful to you. If it is, please give it a thumbs up. I make videos on pre-med content on medical school applications and my journey to medical school and in medical school. So please subscribe if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.